Horizontal discharge vehicles have numerous advantages over tippers, some being that they are more stable and that there is no risk of raising up and hitting overhead power cables. Now, Kelberg's belt trailer on display here at Tipex in Harrogate is one such vehicle and Kelberg is actually releasing a new version, a lighter version of the belt trailer about next month. So I'm here with Ronnie Werner who is a director at Kelberg. Ronnie, tell me a little bit about the new vehicle and, and what the advantages to this one are. Uh, the advantages of the new one is it's lighter. Uh, basically what we've done is we designed it based on our Danish Scandinavian model which operates at higher weights. Yeah. This one we wanted to have, uh, we needed a lighter version for the UK to come in line with uh, our competitors which have moving floor vehicles. So that's why we've redesigned. Mm. And we hear a lot about wear and tear on moving floor vehicles and, and the belts being damaged. I mean, is, is that an issue with this vehicle? Not with this vehicle, no. Basically the load sits on top of the belt, the belt conveys on a uh, track system and the load falls off the back so there's no wear on the belt. And what about the speed of the unload? How does it compare to your market competitors? Well this vehicle offloads in 2 minutes 40 seconds, Brilliant. whereas our moving floor competitors, uh, it's circa 10 minutes, so it's almost four times as fast. And, and when is the lighter version of the product being released? That's being released uh, on the end of June. Okay. The first 10 come off the production line, so we're looking forward to seeing them. Why don't we go take a look at what else you've got in your stand? Now, as I understand it, it was about three years ago that Kelberg started making its own tipper bodies, um, such as the one here on display at Tipex. Ronnie, why did you make that decision? Uh, we made that decision because we had short supply from the UK bodybuilders. Uh, it was curtailing our business, so we needed to do something drastically. So we invested heavily in uh, production methods like robotic welders and so forth. And here we are. And, and are they built in the UK? Where, where are these produced? No, they're built in, uh, in Denmark in a place called Tuckland. What, what material is used on the We're using uh, Hard Ox 450 steel in the body throughout. So every piece of steel you see in the body is Hard Ox 450. And that's quite unusual to use that steel all the way through, am I right in thinking that? Most of the bodybuilders uh, only use Hard Ox 450 in the floors. We're using it right through. There is another bodybuilder that does use it, but yeah, okay. it is quite unique. Brilliant, okay. And, and tell me a little bit about the payload of this and, and are there any advantages to other products that are available on the market? Because this is a single skin body, uh, it's normally around about five, 600 kilos lighter than other competitors that are doing a double skin body. So hence the operator gets a higher payload. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, fantastic. Now I think, am I right in thinking you're the only people in, in the UK that are offering a galvanized subframe? I believe you are, yes. Yeah. So I imagine one advantage would be that this is probably going to outlast the life of the vehicle, is that right? It would do, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, other than that, what, what else is unique about this? Why, why galvanised? Well, the reason we went for galvanised is, as you say, for longevity of the, uh, the subframe. Uh, the other unique features in it is we've designed a little bit of flexibility to cope with uh, chassis manufacturers' tolerances in their build. So it can move in and out to suit how the chassis finished. And then we just clamp force these uh, bolts using torquing methods. And hey presto. You, you'd yeah. say it's a good move for any, anyone running a tipper? This is uh, what I think is required for the market, yeah.